Mr. Dog Poop and his maintenance man think they're so special. They're not. It's actually me. Take a quick look at this clip. He says somebody could slip on the surface. So, I bought a rubber mat. And I'm going to show you how to do it. The maintenance man can't actually disappear. It's all special effects done by yours truly, the infamous video guy. I'm going to show you how I did it, even if Mr. Dog Poop shoots me again. Let's get started. I'll be using Adobe Premiere Pro 2024 to edit. Before we get into editing, when filming your scene, do not move your camera at all. Any movements will ruin the shot, so keep that camera on a tripod. Make sure you have a clean plate. A clean plate is a static shot of just a background of the scene without any people. If I put the original clip on top of the clean plate, you can see how similar it is. Be careful with shadows. You want to eliminate any shadows that extends way past your actors. Any shadows directly behind your actor will be fine. When filming, have your actors use something large to cover their entire body like a mat or a blanket. Have them lift up the cover and when they drop it, make sure they stay still until the cover hits the floor and stop moving. To make things easier, if you add an object or something in front of the actor, like this custom made crab dolly the maintenance man built, you can hide the cover behind it. Just make sure not to move anything. Once the cover hits the floor and nothing in the shot is moving, you can tell your actor to carefully walk out the shot without touching the cover or the object. Now have your actors stand where you want them to be, middle, front, side, whatever. Get them in position and go ahead and film the rest. When you're finished filming, take your two clips and clean plate and put them in your timeline. Move the clean plate under the main clip. To do the disappearing effect, it's pretty simple. Move over to the effects tab and under opacity, select this pen icon. Then at the edge of the cover right before he drops it, mask around and... Ah oh, no, I told the maintenance man not to have shadows in the background. It's a good thing there's an easy fix. Just mask around your actor and the shadow, but you'll notice a line at the edge. This is the original clip, and that is a clean plate. We need to blend them together by dragging the mask feather a bit to the side. There we go, now you can't see the line anymore. Back to the masking, after putting the mask right at the edge of the cover, don't make the feather too strong or the cover and hands are going to be blended. In the effects control, click on the stopwatch icon to turn on animations. When you click it, the first keyframes is set. So go ahead and move your playhead and adjust your keyframes to the edge of the cover again. Do this multiple times until the cover hits the floor completely. Just make sure to also keep the cover lined up with the shadow. And there you go! When you play the clip back again, you can see the maintenance band disappear. At the end of the clip, extend the clean plate and move your second clip where you have your actors appear again, and place it on top of the clean plate. Now, we could just do a cross dissolve and call it a day, but I'm not a lazy ass like the maintenance man, so we're going to take this a bit further. Head over to YouTube and look up a special effect that you like. It can be smoke, magic, whatever effect you like. In the original clip, I use a white smoke, so this time, let's try it with an explosion. Make sure the quality is good, you don't want a low resolution. After you download your green screen effect, plug it in your timeline and remove the green screen using the ultra key and selecting the green part. Feel free to clean it up if necessary. The explosion is small, but that's because it's 1080p, and my sequence is 4K. I'm just going to scale it and position it where the maintenance man will be standing. Time your effect with your actor and make sure the effect covers the whole body. If you're using a transparent effect like magic, you could add a cross dissolve on your actor. Now, if your actor was walking or moving, you can freeze frame to keep them in place for a bit until the effect goes off. Just be careful not to keep it too long or the freeze effect will be noticeable. If your effect is too long, you can fade out to quickly get rid of it. Ah, great. There's a crop at the edge of the effect. Good thing there's a small trick to fix it. If you add a mask and invert it, you can smooth it out with a feathery mask. Now, it's not that noticeable. But if the crop is too strong, either move it to the edge or find a new one. And there you have it. Let's see how it looks. Now, Mr. Dogpip isn't happy with it. He says somebody could slip on the surface. So, I bought a rubber mat. And I'm going to show you how to do it. And I'm going to show you how to do it. That's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> shut up, shut up. <laughs>